Hi, I'm Coach Shackstad. And I'm Joanne Michael. And welcome to another episode of The, the Science, Science of, of Sports. I like watching soccer, especially when I can watch the athletes kick the ball all the way across the pitch. It just amazes me how they can kick the ball so high over everybody's heads but then be so accurate that it can go into the net over the goalkeeper. I know they practice for hours to do that, but I want to know how to do that too. So let's watch Coach Shockstad kick the ball up high in the air, and then we'll learn how we can do it ourselves. We know that we have muscles in our legs that help us run and jump. But in order to kick a ball, we need to know how to use those muscles and how to put our feet in the right way to get the ball to go the right way. A force is just a push or a pull, just like in Star Wars. In order to get the ball to move, we need to push the ball with our foot in the right direction and in the right way to get the ball to go where we want it to go. So we need to get some force moving towards the ball in order to get some force in the ball. We want the ball to go both up and in a direction. So when we're running, we get the force moving in that direction first. The other thing we need to do is to figure out what foot we use to kick. Now for most people, the foot that you kick with is on the same side of your body as the hand that you write with. If you're not sure, then the best way to tell is to put the ball in the middle of a field or somewhere and just run up and kick the ball without even thinking about it. The foot that you use is called your dominant foot. The other foot we call your planting foot because you're going to actually plant it in the ground when it's time to kick. Once you've figured out your dominant foot and your plant foot, then it's time to get ready to kick the ball. You're going to run up to the ball and this is the first tricky spot. You're going to plant your planting foot. So you're going to put your foot down in the direction where you want the ball to go. So if you want the ball to go over there, you point your foot that direction. Once your plant foot is in the right place, bring your kicking leg back. The further you bring your leg back, the more force you put into the ball. Remember, the more force, the further the ball will go. We want the ball to go up in the air, not just across the field. So we need to kick the ball in the right place. The ball will go in the opposite direction that you kick it. If you kick the ball at the top of the ball, the ball will spin down. If you kick the ball right in the center, the ball will go straight. So we want the ball to go up. So where should we place our foot? Where should we put the force to get the ball to go up? Right. We want to kick towards the bottom of the ball so that the force pushes the ball now that we know that kicking the ball is really all about forces, we can decide how much force and in which direction to put the ball where we want it to go. If we want the ball to go really far, but in kind of a straight line, we can kick the ball really hard right in the middle. If we want the ball to go really far, but also pretty high in the air, we'll kick the ball really hard but a little bit closer to the bottom of the ball near the ground. If we want the ball to not go very far, then we're not going to give it a lot of force. So we do not push the ball really hard with our foot to get it to go only where we want it to go. Let's watch Coach Shockstad kick the ball a few times in different ways. While she's doing it, I want you to keep your eye on a couple different things. Watch where her planting foot is pointing so you can see where the ball is going to be headed. Watch the back of her leg so you can see how much force she's going to use on the ball and then estimate how far you think the ball's going to go based on how much force she's putting on it.
now it's your turn to go outside and kick the ball. Do you need to have a professional soccer ball in order to be able to practice? Not at all. As long as you have a ball that's safe to kick and an area that's safe for you to kick around in, you're good to go. While you're playing, I want you to remember a couple things. Remember that you need to use a lot of force in order to get the ball to go really far. Remember what a force is? Just a push or a pull. Remember to put your planting foot down in the direction that you want the ball to go. And if you want the ball to go up, you need to kick the ball a little bit further down, closer to the ground. If you want the ball to go straight, kick the ball straight in the middle. Have fun. Thank you, Wiseburn Ed Foundation, for sponsoring Science of Sports.